Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, we are going to be going over a new way to take out the Fire Giant quick and effective. So, what we want to do is head over to the good old Lost Grace, and from there, we want to then locate the Fire Giant. Now, the thing is, the situation with this location is that they actually fix the spot where you can jump down at, so you can no longer cheese slash glitch your way on the other side. The way that we are going to be doing this in this video is completely different by jumping off the map. I'm sure a lot of you kind of had the idea from the intro there. Uh, and if you are also wondering why is the tree red, you know, and the fire giant still here, this is all because I simply glitched ahead and did Ferrum. So that's why. And then I came back here and it, I was able to do the fire giant. So that's why. Now, let me show you what they did fix, and then we'll get into how to do the glitch. So, as you can tell right here, when we do the jump, they now have officially layered down a whole entire barrier going all the way from the top to the bottom. So, what we need to do instead is we need to take it down the fire giant halfway down to its health. The best way to do this is you can either attack them normally, or you can simply then just use the good old glitch with the fire's deadly sin and the blood flame. If you have watched my previous video where we went over the 10 glitches after patch 1.05, then you may know about this because we went r over it right at the start. Uh, if you have not, check it out. Yet, anyways, the combo between these two is really effective because when you are near an enemy, the flame will actually cause some bleed damage instead of just the normal plain damage. So it can be quite effective against normal enemies and even bosses. Now, once you take out this boss, or I mean, at least get his health down halfway so that he's in his second phase, you can then head towards this side where the barrier is at, and you can then simply double jump right on off like so. Make sure that you are sprinting with your mount when you do double jump and just continue to slice. The main issue that I've seen in the past where some people say, hey man, I, I failed doing the jump and it, that's partially because you need to make sure that you are running or sprinting with your mount and that you double jump. Sometimes a delay like you know where you jump and then you delay that double jump just a bit, that can help you reach a little bit further. Anyways, once you reach the bottom and you've continued to slice away, you will notice rock and water textures. This is perfectly normal. Just continue to slash. And then you will see that the health on the boss will then deplete all the way. Note that you cannot do this during its first phase. I have no idea. Uh, my best guess is because the way the boss is structured, I was able to see the way it falls because when I did this normally, I'll try to include a clip at the end. You will notice that the boss will fall, yet there will be no damage. So you have to get the health down to about second. So the other way that it's done has been patched as well because there's another part where you can jump off. So it is what it is. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, let me know down below if you did do it or if you did not or if you just liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you are new, turn on the notifications, check out the rest of the videos, I have a bunch of great guides. So there you have it, this is the end of the video, hope you all have a great solid day out there, and have a great Father's Day this Sunday. And with all that said, I will see you all on the next video.